Some big changes to tell you tonight about buying a home. Changes designed to cool down a hot housing market and prevent homeowners from running up too much debt. The changes are being imposed by Ottawa and they'll be felt right here at home. Don McPhee has the story. It's one of the most important purchases you'll ever make. But some people are stretching things too thin to buy houses they really can't afford. But the reality is, it is not a hardship to save a down payment for your home. This financial advisor sees the changes as short-term pain for long-term gain. Uh, it's going to force you maybe to save for longer. Um, and because of the changes in mortgage rules, we may actually see fewer new home buyers for a little while, which actually could reduce prices. Ottawa will reduce the maximum mortgage term from 30 years down to 25. Actually a good thing, because it costs you a lot of money to borrow over a 30-year period of time. But it's not good news for everyone. Some first-time buyers may be shut out from the housing market. They're threatening home ownership in Canada, in my opinion. More changes will make sure loans are not too big compared to household incomes, so people can afford to pay their mortgages. This mortgage broker sees the changes as a double whammy. Clients are going to have a difficult time, you know, borrowing and qualifying, and it's going to have a negative impact on real estate prices and on first-time home buyers. So there's going to be more people who are going to be looking to rent and less people who are going to be able to buy. The governor of the Bank of Canada was in Halifax today. He sees benefit in leaving some people out. The restrictions um, avoid um, potential. Uh, excesses, uh, potential excesses in the in the housing market here. So they're basically lowering what people can afford to buy at the maximum purchase price. This realtor doesn't expect the changes will make much difference. Your payment will rise uh, a little bit and that will therefore decrease slightly the amount of house you qualify for. The good thing though is you're going to have your house paid off five years sooner and save tens of thousands of dollars in interest. The changes come into effect on July 9th. So if you're pre-approved for a mortgage and looking to buy now, you might be able to beat the clock. After that date, you may have to lower your expectations a bit or save up for a little bit longer. Amy? All right, thank you for that, Don. That's the CBC's Don McPhee tonight.